Bro, I found this DeFi protocol where you can get a loan, but you don't need to repay the loan. What? That sounds like a scam. Are you sure? Yeah, bro. So you can deposit a collateral and then you get the loan up to 50% of this collateral. And the loan will self-repay with the yield that the protocol is going to generate for you. What? What are you talking about? That's for sure a scam. No, bro, it's not a scam, it's called Alchemix. The way it works is actually very basic. You deposit a collateral, for example, ETH, they will use your collateral to generate an yield, and then you can get the loan up to 50% of the value of collateral. And the loan that you get is also going to be in ETH. So there is no risk of liquidation, okay? That's one of the best parts. Then at the same time, while they are generating yield on your collateral, this yield is going to be used to repay the loan. I would like to learn more about that. Can you maybe show me how it works or do a tutorial? Yeah, bro, of course I can do a tutorial. That's what this video is about. Okay, in most DeFi lending protocols, one of the biggest risks is the risk of liquidation. On Aave, Compound, MakerDAO, you will deposit, for example, one ETH worth of, for instance, $2,000, and you will be able to get a loan in stablecoin worth of $1,000, 50% loan to value, for example. And these DeFi loans are always over collateralized. So for me to get a $1,000 loan, I need to provide, for example, $2,000 collateral, in this case, ETH. So let's say, for example, that the ETH price goes from $2,000 to $1,000. What will happen is that the DeFi smart contracts that manages this DeFi lending protocol will automatically sell my collateral in order to guarantee the stability of the protocol and to cover the loan that I got. It's just like a mortgage loan, right? If you get a mortgage loan, you provide your house as a collateral. If you don't pay the loan, the bank is going to get your house. In these Aave compound and so on DeFi protocols, if you don't repay the loan, the DeFi protocol will get your collateral. In this case, for the sake of the example, your collateral is ETH. Now, Alchemix is very different. On Alchemix, you won't get liquidated. And how is this possible? And how is it possible that you have self-repaying loans? Well, it's actually very simple. So on Aave, if I deposit my ETH to get a loan, the protocol will give me the loan in ETH, not in stablecoin. So there is no risk of liquidations because one ETH is worth one ETH and there is no volatility and no price changes there. So on Alchemix, I can go deposit one ETH. I will show you the tutorial in a minute and I can get 0.5 ETH loan. And now I can do whatever I want with these 0.5 ETH. I can just leave it and now I'm a bit leveraged or more exposed to ETH if I believe that ETH price is going up. I can sell it. I can exchange it to US dollar to buy real world goods or something. I can do whatever I want. So now that we are in a bear market and the ETH price is cheaper, so ETH at the moment is like 1,300 something, what I'm doing is I'm depositing my ETH on Alchemix and getting 50% loan of whatever I deposit on Alchemix. In this way, I'm more exposed to ETH. You could do other things with Alchemix. You could, for example, let's say the ETH price is at a peak. Let's say one year from now, ETH price is $5,000. And let's say you want to cash out your ETH. You want to sell part of your ETH to take profits. Wait just a minute. What if instead of selling your ETH, you can provide your ETH as a collateral on Alchemix? Alchemix will start generating yield on 100% of your collateral. You get 50% loan over that collateral and you sell that loan, you sell that ETH that you get for USDT or USDC and you transfer to your bank accounts to buy a boat or a house or whatever you want. How cool is that? So you can have the cake and eat it at the same time. That's one of the magics of Alchemix. It's having the cake and eat it at the same time. So effectively, instead of selling your ETH, you are just getting a loan, transferring it to USDC or USDT or a stable coin. So you continue to have your 100% collateral generating the yield. And at the same time, you have the cash. I found this article uh, from Over Koala Fields. It explains very well the concept and explains the advantages of getting this kind of loan. Let's say if you have $10,000 in the bank and you want to buy an engagement ring, 
you buy it for $3,000 and now you have $7,000 in the bank and you have an engagement ring. Now, imagine a different scenario. You go to Alchemix, you deposit $10,000. You can deposit, by the way, stable coins, uh, DAI, USDC. You can deposit also ETH. And you deposit $10,000. You get a loan, $3,000. You buy the engagement ring, but you still have the $10,000 collateral on Alchemix. And Alchemix is generating yield over the $10,000. And this yield is being used to repay the loan. So as you can see here, some of the biggest advantages of Alchemix is to leverage your wealth. So in my case, I'm simply depositing ETH and getting an ETH loan to get leverage on ETH. You have a wide range of tokens, not that wide. You actually have only ETH, staked ETH, um, Rocket Pool ETH, DAI, USDC, and USDT. No liquidations because I will get my loan in the same denomination of the collateral, ETH in this case. If you deposit DAI, you get a DAI loan. If you could deposit USDT, you get a USDT loan. So there is no risk of uh, volatility and liquidations. And it's fully flexible. And you will see that while the time goes by, the, the debt amount is going to be lower and lower and you can eventually get more loan. And it's quite cool. And there is no catch. Basically, this is the way it works. Alchemix is getting 10% of whatever yield they give you. So they get their cuts and everyone is happy. Finally, I also want to show you on DeFi safety, Alchemix has a score of 80%, which is quite good. And you can also check here the full report. I would invite you to always check DeFi safety when you plan to get involved in the DeFi protocol to check if they have the all the security in place and to check if their smart contract was reviewed and check if the contract was audited or not. Um, so you can find here a very useful information that, that we will leave you more comfortable before getting involved in the DeFi protocol. So what would be the risks of Alchemix? So you don't have the risk of liquidation. You have a self-repaying loan that repays itself with the yield that is generated. But what are the risks? Well, I think the biggest risks are related to uh, the smart contract risks. Remember, you have an Alchemix smart contract, and Alchemix is going to put your money on Yearn Finance or Compound or Aave. They are going to use some strategies to generate yields. So you are not dealing with only one smart contract. You are dealing maybe with two or three smart contracts. And sometimes smart contracts may have vulnerabilities or be exploited by hackers. However, Alchemix smart contracts, I think they are quite well tested. I would see the risk as relatively low. And also the strategies that are used by Alchemix to generate yields are voted by the, the governance mechanism of Alchemix, and they always check before approving anything if those other protocols that are used to generate yield, if they are solid or not, if they are tested, if they are audited, and so on. So I'll say that the risk is relatively small, but do your own due diligence and don't put more money than what you could eventually afford to lose. One more potential risk of Alchemix is if you get the ETH loan, you exchange it to US dollar, and then the ETH price keeps going up and going up and going up. Now, for example, let's say the ETH is, for the sake of the example, $1,000, and you get a loan, in ETH and you exchange this ETH for US dollar stablecoin. And one year from now, you want to repay the loan, but in the meantime, these ETH, uh, the value of ETH went from $1,000 to $2,000. So now you owe more because you exchange it to US dollar. In terms of US dollar, you owe more. Of course, in terms of ETH, you owe less because in the meantime, you have the self-replaying and all that stuff. And even if the yield is zero and there is no self-repaying going on, you will owe only whatever you bought in ETH. But the risk is if you exchange it to US dollar and then the ETH price goes up and now you need to buy ETH if you want to unlock your collateral. But on the other hand, if the ETH price is very high, let's say you now uh, put some money on Alchemix, you get leveraged, you get an ETH loan and you keep it in ETH. And one year after the ETH price goes to 2000 or 3000 or $5,000, then you are in a very good position because you are even more exposed to ETH. And again, if you think one year from now that ETH price is reaching a top 
and you want to take some profit, maybe instead of selling your ease, just deposit on Alchemix, start generating a yield, get a loan, exchange this loan to US dollar, and now you have the cake and you can eat it at the same time because you can maintain 100% of your collateral, earning yield, while at the same time, you have that sweet cash to spend it. All right, now I'm going to show you how Alchemix works. So I've clicked vaults, and as you can see, we have already here a small deposit that I have previously made. When you are testing a DeFi protocol, you should always first do a small test before moving further with uh, higher amounts. You can see here the different assets that you can deposit on Alchemix. And in our case, we are doing ETH. So I have here my MetaMask wallet with some ETH ready. And I want to have in total zero point, no apologies. I want to have in total one ETH deposited on Alchemix. So I'm going to switch here from wrapped ETH to ETH. And I'm going to put 0 0.9 because together with the 0 0.1 ETH that I have that I have already is going to be uh, one ETH. And I want to do one ETH because sometime soon I want to do another video, a follow-up video, and I will show you how it goes. And we can compare the uh, exact amount one ETH uh, before and after what's going to happen. So in terms of gas fees, I'm going to pay here $7.00. And now that I have approved the transaction, we see here that I have already one ETH. Now we can borrow against this one ETH collateral. Let's borrow the maximum, which is going to be slightly over 0 0.5 ETH. And uh, going to click borrow. Uh, and you could also uh, send the transfer, the borrowed amount to a different wallet, like could be someone else's wallet or a different wallet that is controlled by yourself. By the way, never send it or any cryptocurrency for uh, to a person that doesn't know, that you don't, don't know. Uh, here, now I'm going to approve. I'm going to pay approximately $2 of transaction fees. So in everything altogether, we pay around $9 gas fees, which is not too bad. All right, so as you can see here, we have a current debt 0 0.5. ETH. So we have one ETH plus 0 0.5. And if you check the MetaMask, I have here 0 0.5 all ETH, which is the synthetic asset that represents my ETH loan. So you can exchange these all ETH for normal ETH. If I wanted to repay, as you can see here, I would already repay less than 0 0.5 because it's already accruing yield. It's already accruing interest. So if I want to repay, I already can already repay less than I borrow. Liquidate, it will be like as if you sell your collateral and you will get back 0 0.49 ETH. In most cases, I don't think you want to liquidate, but it could be uh, also an option. And you see here, if you want to borrow more, you could already borrow a bit, a bit more because your collateral, again, is generating yields. And now you have more collateral, even like one minute after you already have a little bit more collateral than we had before. It's always generating yields. And in fact, here, if I want to withdraw, I could also withdraw uh, the yield extra yield that this is generating. The transmuter will be used if you want to exchange your all ETH to ETH. And uh, then you can sell this ETH, uh, exchange it to US dollar or any other cryptocurrency. And in a nutshell, this is how Alchemix works and it's pretty cool, right? All right, guys, I hope this was clear and useful. Let me know if you want me to talk more about Alchemix. I think it's one of the coolest DeFi protocols and it really allows you to be your own bank and get a loan whenever you want. And it really beats anything that other traditional banks can offer. So if you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe. It will really help with the YouTube algorithm. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow.